Do you have any questions? No. Put those down there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe, and this is my life in 20 questions. What album could you listen to 20 times over and not get bored? I feel like there's many albums that are like that for me. Maybe Pink Moon by Nick Drake. It's an album that I feel like I could have on, I can kind of tune in and tune out of. My favorite song is constantly switching. And it's not something I'm ever thinking like, oh, I want to play that one song from his album. I'm always just like, we're playing the whole album. What random topic could you talk about for 19 minutes straight without notes? That's a good question. Star Wars, maybe? I was like a big Star Wars geek when I was a little kid. Mostly just the old ones. I had all those books where it gives you the name of the random guys in every scene and all the equipment. And I liked to memorize all the equipment at my heart. I'm just a big nerd. What was the most important thing to happen in your life when you were 18? Probably moving to Chicago. Left my parents and all my and my sisters. I went to DePaul University in Chicago. Really like a new step. No, no one in my uh, family left the state to go elsewhere for schools. It was really good. I had a good cry when I got there when I said goodbye to my parents, but then it was really good. Yeah, it changed my life, that's for sure. Who was your favorite music artist when you were 17? Oh God, I don't, I have no idea. Maybe um, Dr. Dog, I think. I was listening to a lot of Dr. Dog. Do you guys know that band, Dr. Dog? You know that, yeah, Nick knows. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Dog is great. But that actually might've been right before I was introduced to Dr. Dog. My friend at college introduced me to them. This this would've been right as I was going to school. Man, I, I had this Black Eyed Peas album I would listen to a lot. And then also, this is actually very cool. My friend Nico in high school recommended this Daptone Gold. It was, it was like a bunch of artists on Daptone records and it was just like a bunch of really cool soul music. I would listen to it in my old Volvo delivering pizzas. What advice would you give your 16 year old self? It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> what thing did you hate at 15 which you love now? Maybe like pop music, more like straight on the nose pop music. I didn't really get it or maybe thought I was like too serious for it, but now I just feel like it's a, it's just a good, it's just good fun. Like Britney Spears, I don't think I really understood or like the Backstreet Boys are in sync and now I feel like I can listen to that and be like, ah, oh, yeah. What TV show are you obsessed with at 14 and why? When you're 14 years old, you're a freshman in high school, I think. I watched like a lot of, I guess like, SpongeBob, I guess? Is that too old for that? I know. No, no. I don't know, I had a lot of younger siblings. <laughs> what other shows were even out then? I guess like Disney Channel original movies were kind of going on then. Yeah, I guess SpongeBob, that's kind of cringy. 13 is unlucky for some. Do you have anything that you're superstitious about? Not really. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna like walk under a ladder for obvious reasons. I just feel like it's kind of like, why would you? But I'm generally, not too stitious. I feel like I'm reg I'm regular. Do you have any pre-show rituals? Well, I haven't played really enough shows to really know if I need any of those. Probably just drinking a lot of tea and worrying. Actually, in the short amount of time that we've played shows, the only thing that I've really been worried about is I feel like I'm always getting sick. But I feel like a lot of people feel that way. Just always getting sick. Like, am I sick? Am I sick? Am I getting sick? So just making sure that you're, you know, lubricating the whole system and sleeping and not staying up late. If you could live the life of any other person for 12 hours, who would you be and why? Maybe like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who's like from a completely different time, kind of like an explorer. I guess you wouldn't be eating very well. And that's pretty important to me. And it would probably be actually pretty mundane. And the only excitement would be a battle in which you could probably die or lose a limb. So a pirate's maybe a horrible idea, unless you were the captain. Maybe Blackbeard is what I'll choose. Eleven from Stranger Things is born with psychokinetic abilities. I hope I've said that right. But if you could choose to have a superpower, what would it be? I think I would fly maybe. I have a lot of dreams about flying, so I'll choose, I'll choose that. Which bad habit do you hope to have quit in 10 years time? Well, you know, a lot of bad habits, I, I, you know, I feel like I've kind of let uh, drop to the side. Maybe just stress. I don't think people think of it as a habit, but I think being stressed as a way to motivate yourself can be a habit. So to try to drop that down and not be as stressed is probably a good idea. My friends, they are very into Wim Hof breathing technique. I'm getting a lot of good nods in here. <laughs> and so I've been trying to do that and it's really nice. But I recommend doing it laying down and not sitting up for the first few times just in case you kind of conk out. Woo! <laughs> what was your biggest fear when you were nine and did you have any funny encounters because of it? Huh, that's a funny question. <laughs> I couldn't have sleepovers because I was too scared. I was like, I would miss my parents too much. Maybe that was my big, or like maybe being like abandoned. That sounds really heavy. <laughs> but like 
being lost <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> being like left out. I come from a, a really big family, so like kind of being isolated, I think was my biggest fear. This is, a, this is good for me. I feel like I don't have a great memory and this is really good. This is like challenging me rather than avoiding it. And did I have any funny encounters because of it? Not really. Uh, <laughs> no, not really. Just trauma. <laughs> yeah, just trauma. <laughs> when you were eight, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a hockey player in the NHL. My, my dad, we got, he's like team. That was my stomach, did you hear that? Because <laughs> I'm so hungry to be a hockey player. Anyways, I got these nice little cards of me as a little kid and it's me playing hockey. I played freshman year of high school and then after that I kind of gave it up because I sort of quickly realized it was not gonna work out for me. And then I, that's when I started kind of doing plays in, in high school. Uh, which of the seven deadly sins are you most guilty of? Pride, yes, greed, yes, wrath, yes, envy, oh, no. Out of the ones I'd like to admit, I'd say probably <laughs> gluttony, because I just will stuff my face if given the opportunity. Yeah, it's good to think about it. I'll take this card home with me. <laughs> <laughs> if you could invite six celebrities, dead or alive, to go on the ultimate night out with, who would you invite and where would you go? Jesus, this is great. Uh, John Lennon and Harry Nilsson, just because I know that those guys were like fun, chummy guys. And then I would invite my friend Jake, my sister Caroline. Oh, well, they're not celebrities, but I would invite them. Maybe my grandmother, Ga, and Nomar Garcia Parra, the shortstop for <laughs> the Boston Red Sox. And where would we go out? We would go to Foxwoods Resort. It's basically like a casino. <laughs> Name five things you can't live without. I mean, not to get sappy, but friends, family, honestly, probably music, movies, I, I really feel like that's pretty important to me. And food. I would die if I didn't have food. <laughs> I've spent the summer living very minimally, so I've, I've actually found out that I can live without quite, quite a lot. Describe yourself in four words. How would I describe myself in four, four words? Hi, my name's Joe. Those are, those are my four words. What are your top three songs of all time? Hard to pick top three of all time, but maybe top three, top of mind. Maybe I'll go with Queen, Don't Stop Me Now. That reminds me of being in high school. I learned a lot of the words of that in high school. Not very cool. Gotta pick a Beatles track, Long and Winding Road maybe. Yeah, let's go with that one. And then let's just go absolute curveball here. I get knocked down, Chumbawamba. <laughs> Name two things on your bucket list. Okay, doing a tour is on my bucket list. Playing like a nice string of shows. I am someone who likes to be involved in kind of the whole creative element, so it'd be really fun to bring it all the way back to my high school theater days, but to do like a stage design and really have proper lights and sound and pour everything I have into it, yeah, it would really be satisfying to me. After the few amount of shows that we've done, I have a big appreciation for live touring acts. It is insanely difficult. Yeah, to be able to say that I've done that in my life would be amazing. Is the tool coming? I, yeah. <laughs> so that's the one thing on my bucket list. And then the other thing was to come to London and I've done that, so. Who or what is your one true love? Wow, that's a fantastic final question. Seeking true happiness in life is the real one true love. Just really trying to day, day in, day out and I feel like that kind of covers a lot of bases here, but it's important to do what makes you happy, be around the people that make you happy, and be nice and kind to yourself also. Voila! And that's a wrap. That is my life in 20. I hope you got to know me better. I know that I did. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was so good.